Hello YouTube. I have been planning to modify my Gaja Classic for a while now, and I did a lot of research on how to execute this. I didn't go with the ready-made kit because I want to be able to customize everything myself and pick the best device for my mod. This mod will allow me to have better temperature control of the boiler inside the machine and it also inform me of the current temperature and what's happening inside the machine. So first off, let's look at the list of items that you will need for this mod. An XMT7100 PID temperature controller, a high precision temperature sensor, PT100, an SSR, a solid state relay, 40 amps, 2.5 mm wires that's suitable for 12 to 220 volts, depending on your location, some piggyback connectors, some male and female spade connectors, along with wire crimp tools, allen wrench, adjustable wrench, and wire cutter. Here is a wiring diagram that I made just to guide you through this process. You can pause this video just to study the diagram a little bit better before you start to mod your machine. Start by taking apart the top mountain piece. It is attached with two Phillips screwdriver then you will need to detach the grounding cable. Remove the steam knob gently by pulling it out. Remove the steam one first by using an adjustable wrench or a 17mm wrench. You will need some muscle to loosen the connector. Be sure to tighten it back with the same force the same way you took it apart so it doesn't leak. Remove the 4 Allen bolt underneath the group head. And remove the fuse that is attached with the Phillips screwdriver. So before I remove the four connectors on top of the boiler, I made markings with a sharpie. I have circled up the connectors here for you to take a look. By now, you should be able to access the boiler from the top. Pull the boiler up towards you and you should be able to see the thermostat that is attached to the side of the boiler. Remove both the thermostat connectors carefully. You will need to use this connector later on to connect it to your solid state relay. I removed the thermostat and you will see some white thermal paste here. As I didn't have any thermal paste in hand, I reused the existing paste and apply it onto my new temperature sensor. You just have to tighten the new temperature sensor by hand and don't over tighten it. The temperature sensor installation is now complete. You can place the boiler back to the same location and we will now continue with the wiring. So here, we are preparing two wires for the power supply to the PID. These wires will be tapped onto the positive and negative terminals of the power source in the machine. I use two piggyback spade connectors for this. You will see how I tap these wires to the existing connectors. I've tapped the front power switch for the positive terminal. If you look directly from the front of the machine, the connector that I'm tapping is located on the top left side of the switch. Connect the original blue cable back to the piggyback connector. And for the negative terminal, I'm tapping another piggyback connector to the bottom right side of the pins on the power supply. You may now reconnect everything back for the top of the boiler. 
I have connected the fuse along with four other connectors on top of the boiler that I marked earlier. Now, let's prepare the wiring for the solid state relay and connect them to numbers 1 and 2 on the relay. Make two wires about the length of one foot each. These wires will be connected to the existing temperature wires that was originally made for the thermostat. Connect two male spade connectors to the existing thermostat wires as you can see. These wires are neutral wires so it doesn't matter which way you connect it to. You can see a brief of how everything is connected inside the Gajia Classic. I mounted the relay upside down and had to drill a tiny hole for a screw to hold the relay together. Next, make two wires and connect them to numbers 3 and 4 on the relay. These wires will be directed to the PID controller. We are almost done and you can now tighten the boiler with the four Allen screws located on the shower head. Remember to fix back the steam one and steam knob correctly and tighten it back with the same force as when you took it apart. Now, let's move ahead with the connection of the PID controller. I downloaded a 3D case from Thingiverse and I sent it to the local 3D printing shop. You can see how I looped everything through the back of the Gajia. Connect the new temperature sensor wires to the PID on numbers 6, 7 and 8. Take note that the number 8 is for red wire from the temperature sensor. Next. Connect the solid state relay to the PID on number 9 and 10. Take note of the positive and negative terminals on this part. Now, for the final connection, the power source. This is probably the part where I got confused, so follow closely. The piggyback wire that is from the power switch will be the positive terminal and you will need to connect that to number 1 on the PID. And the piggyback that was from the power supply at the back of the Gajia will then be connected to number 2 on the PID. By now, you should have everything correct and if not, double check with the diagram that I have prepared. I hope this tutorial will help you modify your own Gajia Classic with the PID. I have a settings screen here that you can tune your new PID. Let me know in the comments and hit the thumbs up and subscribe button if you like this video. I will talk more about the power switch mod and some upgrades I did in the next video. Thank you and see you in the next one.